Queensland have created history by belting the Blues in Game 2 of the 2010 State of Origin Series at Suncorp Stadium. The Maroons took to their beloved arena, eyeing off an unprecedented fifth consecutive interstate championship. Yet they remained wary of a New South Wales outfit that would surely be galvanised by the well-documented dramas of their preparation. As the script would have it, the man who unwittingly became a central figure in the controversy of the past week was first to get on the score sheet. They have found Inglis. He goes for the corner and Greg Inglis has scored. Greg Inglis scores his attempt, his 10th Oregon try. Another player who has had his name in the headlines lately was next to benefit from Queensland's expansive and positive approach. Going away to Lockyer and going wider on to Tonga. A floater high for Lamb. Thurston provided the sweetener to make it 10-0 in almost as many minutes. It's coming around and he got it from near the touchline. Following the war of words between the two states in the past few days, this battle was always going to be peppered with extra feeling. And while they matched each other with brutal body shots, things got pretty ugly when Luke O'Donnell speared Darius Boyd into the Suncorp turf. Oh, Boyd picked up and that has started something. The O'Donnell pile driver sparked an old-fashioned Donnybrook as tempers exceeded boiling point. The Blues back rower was fortunate to escape dismissal, merely being put on report instead. Wow. It's, a, it's a penalty. And O'Donnell... It was just as well that New South Wales retained their full complement of 13 men because they were finding it hard enough to quell Queensland's brilliant backline. And it was only an extremely questionable call on Darren Lockyer's inside ball to Billy Slater that prevented try number three from being inked on the half-hour mark. Forward pass has been called by Hayne. But propelled by a first-half penalty count of 5-0, the Maroons' mountain of possession became Everest-like for an overwhelmed unit like New South Wales. The first 40 was all Queensland, and the half-time scoreline of 16-0 reflected just that. It had taken the home side only three minutes of the first half to get across the line, and exactly the same amount of time to inflict further damage in the second. Here's Slater after the ball. It came off Slater, went to Tonga. Tonga put the ball down. If this was to be Lockyer's origin farewell in Brisbane, his parting gift was this gem of a pass to Israel Folau. What a play by Lockyer. The result of the match may have been settled, however the heat hadn't quite dissipated in the cauldron as centre protagonists Greg Inglis and Bo Scott squared off. At 28-0, the mighty Maroons were nudging their record-breaking winning margin of 30 points and they passed it courtesy of super sub Cooper Cronk. Faced with the humiliation of being in the history books for all the wrong reasons, the New South Welshman tried desperately to sidestep the duck egg. And after Brett Morris received the red light for this effort, after Kirk Gidley was rightly ruled offside, big Brett White bustled his way across for a face saver. They're going over, they're going over, touchdown! The white consolation may have denied Queensland their biggest ever victory margin, chalking the full-time scoreline at 34 points to 6, but nobody north of the border seemed too upset about that as they basked in the glory of being origin champions for an incredible fifth straight season. Really, it's, a, it's a tremendous feeling, mate. This group of, group of blokes have achieved so much and, uh, mate, I'm just so honoured to be a part of it. David Rowlands, Big Pond Sport.